Hey everyone, KIC here, and this is Alpha 9.1. This is one of the bad parts about playing a game that is oops, in Alpha and being updated fairly frequently. That, well, updates come out fairly frequently. If you look at the log of all the stuff that changed in 9.1 versus 9.0, yeah, I kind of think I want to play a 9.1 game now instead of 9.0. That kind of stinks since I had some stuff going on in 9.0, but at this point, it really seems like I'm better off playing 9.1. They changed a lot in regards to how spawning or uh, creating the worlds works. So for that reason alone, never mind anything else, I think it's worth my while to sit and play a little 9.1. So yeah, brand new world entirely. It's kind of a shame because I just recorded a couple episodes of 9.0. One of them technically is on 9.1, and at the very end of it, when I was leaving a city, one of the hub cities, I found a couple of the supply crates that had dropped earlier in the day because... And maybe this was a 9.0 change, I'm not entirely certain. But what I found was there was uh, a couple of... Well, there were two supply crates nearby, and each one of them had... Ooh, look at that. Good stuff already. It had uh, smoke coming out of them, so there were signals that, I guess, whoever is leaving these crates left for all the survivors to help guide them to them. So, pretty cool. I know it's kind of a pain right now finding them the... Supply crates, that is, if you don't see where they drop. And even when you do see where they drop, it's pretty easy to miss them. Where am I at? So, I want to go west and north. I want to get to the hub. So, there we go. West and north. Not that I necessarily want to be there. I want to be around there, though. It's a good place to go for supplies. If you want to just go fight some zombies, that sort of thing. I'm finding that I'm pretty much making a beeline for that area now. I mean, I can definitely survive without going there, but it is convenient, I must admit. And you know what? Here, let me go ahead and grab this stuff. Two, three, four of them. That's enough to get me cloth gloves, which is something I believe. Oh, maybe I picked up a few others already. That'll actually get me boots then. The cloth gloves was one of the fixes to 9.1. Apparently it was giving a little too much armor, which I think I noticed that when I was playing not so long ago, maybe when I was playing last week. I thought it seemed a little bit high, because it was basically right in line with leather, and I thought, yeah, that doesn't seem like that should be the case, so looks like that was a bug they fixed. I didn't pay close enough attention to it to really determine if that was the case, but like I said, it looks like that's something... Ah, dang it, I put it in the wrong place. Well... Good thing I picked up a little bit more. Let's try that again. There we go. Probably end up dropping that cotton seed because that's just not going to do me all that much good. Not right now, anyway. Down the road, perhaps, but not right now. I think we're at a change of biomes, and yet it looks like we're going from forest to forest. Not necessarily a bad thing, mind you. Just noticing that. Kind of started near a little bit of a cliffside. I've given some thought to where I want to build. And I have to admit I haven't really decided on what that's going to be. I've thought about build building into a cliffside. I've thought about building on an island or maybe making my own little island. I didn't do that in the last one, in the last versions, because that was a really easy way to exploit the AI. I don't know that it's actually gotten any better in that regard, but aside from the random poor decision death here and there, I'm not overly concerned with making myself uh, super duper safe from the zombies or... I mean, I suppose in that case I could just build in the hub city, which I haven't actually entirely given up on that idea either. Seems to me that'd be a good idea later on, just for the challenge. Or maybe right away, I don't know. From what I can tell, there's definitely some buildings that are better off than others. 
Not really seeing much in terms of points of interest just yet. Granted, I am kind of in a somewhat hilly area here, so it'd be easy to have something on the side of one hill and not be able to see it. How am I doing on... I need to make some of this stuff. So I need to make some... I need to make me a crossbow here and some bolts, so... Might as well get to work on all that stuff as I'm slowly meandering along. There we go. I'm trying to keep an eye open for bird's nests. Just because you can use a lot of feathers at this point in the game. You can use a lot of rocks too. Looked like there was a nest over here. Yep. And I'm taking eggs these days because once you add a pig to that equation, you pretty much have the best traveling rations. They don't smell too much, they give you a lot of food, they give you a lot of health. You will need to make a grill before you can go ahead and take advantage of them. But Pretty good stuff to have around. So this will take care of my crossbow. Then I'll take care of some bolts in just a minute. I'll need to sharpen some more stones. This kind of reminds me of the days when... Well, I guess Minecraft is still being updated quite a bit, but when Minecraft was updated a little more frequently than it is now if you're not testing all of the uh, snapshots as they come out. But I would fire up a game and play it for maybe a week or so, and then next thing you know, an update comes out, and there I go, starting up a brand new one, because they added some new thing that sounded really fun, and I decided, let's go ahead and do that. 21, that sounds like a good number. I'll have to make some more sticks, but I can take care of that in just a moment. Let's see where I'm at on the map now. Pretty much about as west as I need to go, but still need to go a fair bit north. I should be seeing the hub city any time now, though. And I do see the uh, destroyed area, so hub will be close. Okay, um, before I do that, let's get a couple more sticks ready to go. Keep a couple extra handy, just in case I decide to make something else. Going to want those bolts momentarily here, because I'm sure that Hornet is going to come back. And if not, he'll have buddies. Okay, let's go ahead and get working on those guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there right now, even though the others are still crafting, because I always forget to do that. I always forget to load the first time. So let's take care of that right away. Okay, and here's the hub. Apartment building, not a bad place to go to right away for a bunch of supplies and books. Uh, dare I start picking up all the empty jars? Oops, didn't mean to pick up the cinder blocks. So I'll probably drop those in a minute. I thought I heard a dog. Apparently I cannot hit it. There we go. I was hitting everything except the dog. That was kind of frustrating. One of the things they changed was the stack limit for trophies. That's now 250. Not sure how someone carries 250 trophies, but I suppose I won't argue with it. I don't really need the book right now, but I just wanted to pick up everything while I could quickly there, so good old R key to save the day. We don't have any money. Um, I'm gonna just ignore that for now. And nurses, we do carry good stuff quite frequently. I think one of the other changes they made, blood draw kit. Oh, that sounds really interesting. What is that? Ah, that must be what you combine with the blood and the maybe the healing bandage to get the first aid kit. Unless, no, maybe you use that on yourself to fill up a jar of blood. Hmm. Let's find out. I'm curious. Well, I definitely used it on myself. And look at that. I got a blood bag. I don't know where I pulled the bag out from. 
Guess I won't ask. Interesting, though. I hadn't seen that. Granted, I haven't had a lot of time to really see everything that's new, but... With the uh, 9.0, that is, but I had not seen that yet. I think they added some larger or some more prefabs, too. I'm not 100% sure on that, though, so don't quote me there. Kind of started skimming through the change notes and realized these are really long. And thought, yeah, I actually just want to go play because a couple things caught my eye. You know what? I'm not even going to mess around with that right now. Granted, I'm kind of used to having broken limbs at this point, but I don't want to... I don't want to revisit that. What do we have going on in there? A bookcase. Well, they did add home improvement, too. No, that's not some sort of cheesy uh, follow-up to a 90s sitcom. That would be the book that gives you the claw hammer recipe. I don't remember if there's anything aside from the claw hammer, if it's just the claw hammer, but... That would be a pretty good book to find. That's supposed to be really good at upgrading things. Not sure if it's good at downgrading things. That would be handy. That's kind of what this game needs at this point. There's no fast way to tear stuff up. I mean, you're almost better off just drawing a bunch of zombies over if you need to break a bunch of things. Still make really short work of it. Ah, uh, pistol book. Gonna need one of those eventually, so why not? Um, take the books for now, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up dropping those. Having trouble... there it is. See, I saw it pop up. I was having trouble finding the spot where I could actually loot that desk. It's interesting. Okay, so... Here's where... I need to be smarter than the game. And... I'm not sure what we have going on there, so... Since it would take forever and a day to chop through that wall, here is my solution. Granted, I'm having really crazy problems clicking, so I'm not going to be building stuff that quickly. One, two, three, that'll be enough. One, two, and three. I really wish a shift click would dump that in my hot bar. Oh, I need one more. Uh, let's see, quickly, that one. We'll do two, just to be safe. Pretty sure one is sufficient, though. Okay, put my frames down. One, two. And... There we go. And there's the ladder down. And just like that, got to the safe without breaking through the wall. Granted, in the time it took me to create all those stupid frames, hop around, finally climb up onto the roof, and get up there, climb down, and get to the safe, I probably could have just destroyed the wall and made my way in. Hunting rifle barrel and a pistol slide. Since I don't have any weapons at this point, gun-wise I mean, that's not a bad thing. Granted, it would take a while to find all the necessary parts, but... Oh, look at that. There's a claw hammer right off the bat. Let's take a look at that sucker. What does it do? Um... Block damage. 0.232. Oh, looks like this does a lot more damage, but... Block repair 2, block repair 1. I would need a, uh... Oh, hello. I would need... a wrench handy. To compare, and I don't have one of those, but I do want to pick up all my frames, which I can now use in other places. So it's not a waste building all those. But it looks like the claw hammer will definitely be faster to repair stuff and upgrade, as they say. I uh, didn't really mean to pick up the garbage. Oh, I think that's an unhappy gentleman down there. He's got some serious indigestion. Oh man, my timing is all over the place, and now I'm bleeding. Uh, do I have any cloth? Nope. Time to use that guy then. 
I'm gonna go ahead and eat that too. Crap. That's not good. I missed. Well, that's a bummer. I was really hoping to get a bunch of ammunition, maybe even a gun out of him, but uh, clearly that is not to be. So I suppose I should go ahead and finish looting building here. Oh, there's the other one. I didn't realize there were two, actually. That got him in the face. There we go. Got that one. No exploding for you, officer. Perfect. Don't really need that pistol slide now, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it for the time being. Granted, at this point, the way they're releasing updates, I might not even play this one all that long, but I'm going to say I will keep that and possibly make a mold out of it later, just in case I should find myself needing to make additional weapons. Who knows how that's going to go. Should be some lockers in there. Never know what you'll find in lockers. Could be some really good stuff. I see a nurse getting pretty close. No lockers. Huh. Oh yeah, they are. I just missed them. Not going to collect the cans. Um, in fact, I can drop that one. Darn, I was really hoping I would find a bandage in there. Trophies. I thought they changed it so you could stack trophies more. Interesting, I had to manually stack them. That seemed to be my experience with when I updated the game. I found you could stack the jars to 15 before I actually saw the release notes that said jars could stack to 15. And I had to manually stack things. I couldn't... Hey, buddy. I couldn't just you know, combine them like usual, the game wouldn't do it for me, I should say. Uh, I already have that, so yeah, let's go ahead and put the ball cap on. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of this building. Seems like there should be a dog around somewhere. And I'm having problems with my R key, not wanting to pick stuff up. I've had that happen before. I'm not sure what the solution is, other than maybe close the game and restart. Yeah, it just suddenly decided it doesn't want to work. Hmm. Let's check out this one. I guess I should be a little bit careful here. This is a brand new save, so I don't have a ton of water yet. Won't take long to get up to the point where I have sufficient water. Should have that by the end of the first night. Yeah, see, something's going on with the R key. Really don't understand that. And here would be one of the other reasons I have a bunch of frames. Why I said they weren't going to be a waste. I hear that. I don't know where that's going on at. Down there. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. In the face. And a second one to the face. Lots of ammo. Those guys are worth taking out for that reason alone. I mean, at this point, if I really want it, Dang, I might really want to, because now I'm bleeding out and I don't have any cloth. Uh, I think I still have cotton, though. Okay, so let's do this quickly. Cotton, cotton, cotton. One, two. Give me a cloth fragment. Give me a cloth fragment. Give me a bandage. Oh, I already had a regular bandage. Forgot about that. Well, use that sucker quickly, because I am losing health. And then let's go ahead and chomp down some painkillers. Nothing like taking a pill without any water. I would not do well with that. I think I'll open up this safe here. Obviously I am opening it up, but from here it might be time to go find somewhere to hang for the night. 
Pistol Barrel, Urban Combat Book. I believe the Urban Combat Book is for sawed off shotguns and that sort of thing. So let's take that. I want to take my frames. One, two, three. Take those guys. And since, as I mentioned, I have a bunch of rounds, why not? Ah, yes, 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 you guys. Come on, come all. It's really just trying to get to the Hornet. I thought I saw a dog. Man. These guys are just sneaking up on me like crazy. Well, I don't have a uh, leather tanning book, so I can't do anything with that stuff yet. But... Ah, jeez. I need to drop something else. I need to make a weapon repair kit too, apparently. Um, cotton seed. Cotton seed's gonna go away for now. Because the honey is quite useful, especially at this point in the game. I kinda like looking. There we go, the R key has decided to work again. I kind of like looking at the honey as an insurance policy. Don't use them up right away. I don't, anyway but they're definitely handy to have just in case you need it. Okay, at this point, I'm going to call it an episode while I decide where I'm going to go and what other random sorts of things I want to try and collect before I dig into the ground, board up a building, or somehow otherwise decide where in the world I'm planning on hanging out at. So... Thanks for watching. This has been 9.1, which, as it turns out, is pretty interesting. And you know what? Here, let's go ahead and kill the hornet first. Not using a bunch of extra rounds, but that's what the cop is for, right? He gave me a bunch of bullets, so might as well put them to use. So anyway, I'll go ahead and catch you next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.